Our objective is simple. We want you to be able to answer the most common percentage questions extremely quickly. So what are the most common percentage questions? Increasing or decreasing by a percentage? Reversing a percentage increase or decrease, which is very different. Finding the total when an amount equals a percentage. Finding by what percent one number is more or less than another. And finding out what one number is as a percent of another. Make sure you understand how each of these percentage operations are different from one another. To tackle the UCAT quantitative reasoning section, this is your core knowledge. Make sure you master this before moving on to the other lessons. Are you ready? Is your seatbelt on? I bet you'll do great. Let's go. Question 1. By the end of a given month, Sandra saved $120, Gary saved $150, and Jimmy saved $250. What percent of Jimmy's saving is Sandra's savings? The answer is B, 48%. To find one amount as a percentage of another, focus on the amount that comes directly after the phrase percent of. That amount will be your divisor, the number we will divide by. The other amount is the number to be divided. Here, Jimmy's saving came after the phrase percent of, so we divide Sandra's saving by Jimmy's saving. 120 by 250 equals 0 0.48, or 48%. To convert a decimal into a percentage, you multiply by 100, but this step is not necessary if you can translate decimals into percentages in your head. Question 2. Russell's income of £13,500 is 45% of Jack's income. What is Jack's income? The answer is D. £30,000. You don't need to test every solution. £13,500 is 45% of an amount. Think of this as an amount multiplied by 0 0.45 to become 13500 To reverse this, Divide £13,500 by 0 0.45. This will tell you what the larger amount is. 13,500, or just 135 if you're in a rush, divided by 0.45, don't bother with the zero at the front, gives you £30,000. Question 3. FinCorp's inventory of 15,000 vehicles is reduced by 20% over a given quarter and then increased by 10% over the next quarter. What is the new number of vehicles after the two quarters? The answer is again D, 13,200. Remember, a 20% decrease does not cancel out with a 10% increase to become a 10% decrease. The best way to answer this question quickly is to use mental arithmetic. 10% of 15,000 is 1,500, and 20% is simply twice this, or 3,000. Reducing 15,000 by 3,000 gives 12,000 vehicles at the end of the first quarter. 
Now we need to increase by 10% of this new number. 10% of 12,000 is 1,200. Adding 1,200 onto 12,000 gives 13,200. Try to save time in the test by doing simple calculations like this without the calculator. Question 4. The table above gives information regarding the purchase price of the smartphones owned by four individuals at a tech firm. If the smartphones are bought with a contract plan, then the purchase price is discounted by 15%. If the smartphones are bought with a credit card, then a 3% surcharge is added to the purchase price after any discounts. How much more did Graham pay for his smartphone than Prabe paid for his? The answer is A. £242.68. It's as simple as this. £769 times 0.85, don't bother writing 0 0.85, gives £653.65, which is the price Graham paid after his 15% contract plan discount. £399 times 1.03 gives £410.97, which is the price Probe paid after the 3% credit card surcharge. The difference is £653.65 minus £410.97, which gives the answer of £242.68. Question 5. The investment portfolio of small business Y drops by 17% over the first six months of 2020, but then increases by 6% over the last six months of that year. If the investment portfolio is worth £136,369 at the end of 2020, what was it worth at the start of the year? The answer is E, £155,000. You must always reverse the increases and decreases, starting with the most recent change first. If an amount has been increased by 6% and is now £136,369, we reverse that increase by dividing by 1.06. 136369 divided by 1.06 gives 128650 This is the investment portfolio's worth before the 6% increase, but after the first 17% decrease. To reverse a 17% decrease, you must first remember that you decrease by 17% by multiplying by 0.83. To reverse this, do the opposite. Divide by 0.83 or just 0.83. 128,650 divided by 0.83 gives 155,000, which represents the investment portfolio's worth at the beginning of 2020. Question 6. Narwan's hourly salary is $13.20, while Neelab's hourly salary is $8.50. If Narwan's hourly salary increases by 15% and Neelab's hourly salary decreases by 2%,
What percent less than Norwen's new hourly salary is Nilab's new hourly salary? The answer is B, 45.13%. Multiply $13.20 by 1.15 to increase by 15%. This makes Norwen's new hourly salary $15.18. Multiply Nilab's hourly salary of $8.50 by 0.98 to reduce it by 2%. This gives $8.33. To find out what percent more or less an amount is than another amount, focus on the amount after the word than. This amount will be your divisor, or you could say your denominator, the number you divide by. The other amount is what will be divided. Here the question asks, what percent less than Narwan's hourly salary is Nilab's? So Narwan's salary is our divisor, or our denominator. Therefore, we do 8.33 divided by 15.18, not the other way around. This gives 0.548748. But be careful, the question asks what percent less than the salary is, not what percent of no one's salary it is. We can say that Nilab's new salary is about 55% of no one's new salary, which means that it is 45% less than no one's salary. This is the same as saying that if one amount is 90% of another amount, then it is also 10% less than that amount. This question really tests your percentage knowledge, so re-watch the explanation if you're not completely sure of what we did. Question 7. Country Q has 39.0% of the world's polar bears. If there are 12,090 polar bears in country Q, how many polar bears are there in country R, which has 5.5% of the world's polar bears? The answer is B, 1,705. If 12,090 is 39% of the total, divide 12,090 by 0.39 to find that total. This gives us a total population of polar bears of 31,000. In many questions, that would be the answer, but here we need to go the extra step to work out 5.5% of that total to find the number of polar bears in country R. To find 5.5%, multiply by 0 0.055. 31,000 times 0 0.055 gives 1,705, our final answer. Well done if you were able to answer any of those questions in less than 15 seconds. Remember to keep practicing and watch back the videos on percentages if you're struggling. Good luck. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.